London 2012 Olympic Games were glorious games for boxing. The entire world has witnessed how boxing is nowadays one of the leading sports within the Olympic movement. This being the result of AIBA's investment and the determination to bring all sports to the highest level. For a select few, the ultimate dream of an Olympic gold became a reality. And their glory has inspired a generation. These were also glorious games for AIBA's Road to Dream program. London saw fighters from Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean better prepared and more competitive than ever before. AIBA's dream concept helped create a level playing field. And two boxers from the program, Lithuanian Evaldas Petroshkas and Tajikistan's Mavzuna Shorieva won bronze medals and stood tall and proud on an Olympic podium, fulfilling their boxing dreams. Aiba's four-year Road to Dream program culminated in the second Road to London training camp immediately prior to the Olympic Games. 44 men and women boxers, 37 coaches from 27 developing countries around the globe were invited to Cardiff, Wales for three weeks intensive training under the guidance of legendary American coach Thomas Coulter and his assistant, Italian Nino Fracasso. For Thomas Coulter, Team USA coach at Barcelona, Atlanta and Beijing Olympic Games and coach to numerous Olympic and world champions, Aiba's Road to Dream program has made a huge difference. In any great program there has to be an organization, there has to be leadership and there has to be designed competitions which will bring those new international uh, level boxes higher in the standards of, of uh, what we feel competition should be. So they do that, they provide that, then they provide clinics like this around the world to, to enhance the training and make, uh, make some countries see things they haven't seen before. We developed a new coach's manual. The manual will contain what we feel every country and every boxer needs to maintain a good program and to bring boxers along step by step. <laughs> The Road to Dream program was born in Italy. The vision of AIBA president, Dr. Ching Kuo Wu. I'm the president of the International Boxing Association. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. The Road to Milan training camp prepared boxers for AIBA's World Championships in 2009. Nino Fracasso was chosen to head the camp. Il programma dell'AIBA ha dato il, suo, il sogno dell'AIBA pure, no? l'augurio dell'AIBA, quello di, di seminare, di, di insegnare e di raccogliere i frutti fino all'ultimo obiettivo che è quello che è delle Olimpiadi. E quindi in questo ultimo training camp vedere i pugili che abbiamo allenato sin dal primo allenamento, che è stato quello di Assisi, è, un, è molto soddisfacente. Abbiamo allenato questi pugili per circa un mese in funzione de, de, dei campionati mondiali di Milano dove veramente si è verificato un gran successo per la partecipazione, per il numero dei partecipanti e per, per i risultati ottenuti. Since Milan, Aiba has held a total of eight Road to Dream training camps in countries around the globe, providing perfect preparation for boxers and coaches prior to major Aiba championships. For underprivileged and developing countries, the Road to Dream program has had huge impact. 
More than any other sport, boxing is about deprived communities and dreams of escape. It keeps them away from a life of crime. Um, it teaches them discipline. And um, I think it augurs well for youngsters who actually turn to this sport because you can do so much from there. AIBA share the Olympic ideals, promoting social improvement through sport, educating boxers to help them fight against violence, poverty and illiteracy, and to overcome social problems in their countries. I think it's extremely important that we have organizations like AIBA uh, which can set the standards and the quality for boxing and also offer opportunities for our boxers to go out and have uh, and be able to participate in regional and international competitions. Uh, without this, without that type of structure, uh, then you wouldn't have much happening at the local level. For Africa, the Road to Dream program is of huge importance. Road to Dream is also a bouffée of oxygen for the Federation Sportive African. The continent African is a continent very vast. There are 52 countries of the African Union, and on the 52, we have 49 federations that are affiliated. The problem, the most important for us, is the equipment for the training, but also the equipment for the competition. Il faut que les entraîneurs aient à leur, à leur possession le matériel le minimum, le minimum qu'il faut pour faire travailler les jeunes. Mais il faut aussi que ces jeunes-là, maintenant, pour arriver à haut niveau, puissent compétir sur le plan national des jeunes. C'est-à-dire que le niveau de la boxe en Afrique est, est, est bas par rapport aux boxeurs européens et américains. Pourquoi Parce qu'on n'a pas beaucoup de compétition au niveau de l'Afrique. Donc nos boxeurs, ils sont bons, mais ils manquent de compétition. Alors, si vous voyez, je suis dans, dans les pays européens, un boxeur peut faire 50, 60 combats. Nous, on fait 6, 7 combats. Nous sommes sur une bonne voie, et c'est la, la voie de la réussite, actuellement. Et tous, vous avez, euh, comme Cardiff, vous avez des, des boxeurs et des entraîneurs. Et ils vont ils rencontrer d'autres boxeurs sur le, avec qui viennent, viennent d'autres continents. Et c'est le meilleur que nous avons. Et les meilleurs entraîneurs que nous avons là-bas aussi. Vous voyez cet échange Je veux d'abord remercier l'AIBA, remercier le président Wu qui a, qui a permis à nos boxeurs d'aller à Cardiff. Donc c'est une promesse qu'il avait faite. C'est le développement de la boxe dans les pays en voie de développement. Et nous remercions très sincèrement. In 2012, Aiba held two Road to London training camps. The first in February, a development camp to prepare boxers for the Olympic qualifying events in their own continents. The second camp, held on the eve of the Olympic Games, was specifically to enhance the medal chances of those London bound. We tried to effectively give them every aspect of training which would, be, which would help them in the competition, for example. A lot of coaches use a lot of long distance running as training and we know that that's not what they need. That's, that's aerobic and we, boxing is an anaerobic sport, very quick, very fast. So we give them a lot of interval training, things they wouldn't, they wouldn't do at home, sprinting. It covers a lot of distance, but it's with sprinting. Same on, on the heavy bag, we have speed drills with the hand speed, things that they wouldn't normally have. And then of course we control all the sparring. Try to put the the equal boxes together so they get the feeling of competition without really getting injured. Hope you enjoy band sparring. And I'm going to get a little bit of a get all together. I'm going to get a little bit of a good program. Well, we have a certain problem. We don't have, in my category, there are very few pesos. No hay pesos grandes, solo hay pesos pequeños. Y ese es el problema y pues es chévere estar acá porque puedes sparring, es hacer sparring con otras personas. Много африканцы, американцы, европейцы, азиаты, все со всего мира собрал и точно так же вот проходит спарринг, очень сильный спарринг партнёры, боксёры. И 
боксируем, готовимся, побольше спаррингов, побольше тренировок, точно так же вот потихонечку готовимся к Олимпийским играм. Лоро, дичамо, ascoltano i nostri consigli e applicano le nostre metodiche di allenamento al fine di ottenere il meglio, la migliore condizione per questa vera grande importante che è l'unico grande obiettivo per un atleta i giochi olimpici quindi è molto delicato questo we try to make them feel good tell them all the good things they do don't tell them what they do bad because it's too late to change that so stress the good things make them feel good when they leave the last thing i always say to my boxers in the corner is don't leave anything on the stool you leave it out in the rain i think uh, through this road to dream program we found some boxers achieve very high standard. The boxers, when they return, the National Federation sending letter to express their appreciation. The boxer telling other boxers in their own country what the experience they have. So this is really, I think, uh, the most important achievement of this program. The London 2012 Olympic Games were glorious games for boxing. And thanks to AIBA's Road to Dream program, boxers from developing countries around the globe enjoyed their best ever games in a competition notable for a groundbreaking new innovation. Women boxing made its debut in London and the performances of our women boxers were absolutely astonishing and were praised unanimously worldwide. Nicola Adams, Katie Taylor and Clarissa Shields may have been the London Golden Girls, but the technical skills of all the women boxers surprised the world. These successes were no accident, but the result of strategic AIBA initiatives to promote women's boxing worldwide. Women's boxing has exploded around the world, so it's very important that no countries get left behind as the development just continues to grow and grow. Cái phải nói là chúng tôi rất là cảm ơn, đặc biệt cảm ơn là tổ chức AI3 đã, đã đã có những cái chương trình như vậy. Thì chính như có những chương trình như vậy, những cái đất nước như chúng tôi là kém phát triển về boxing như mới phát triển thì 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 được được tập, được đi được quốc tế tập cùng tất cả các bạn à, trình độ cao hơn, rồi được đi Anh để tập vừa rồi. Thì đấy là cái điều kiện gọi là cực kỳ tốt mà từ trước nay ngày xưa không bao giờ có được. Gold medal winner at AIBA's Junior World Boxing Championships in Antalya, TV Yuong from Vietnam epitomizes all that is good about the Road to Dream program. Qua những lần tập huấn như này thì AIBA đã giúp tôi có thể có thêm kiến thức cọ sát trình độ nâng cao rất nhiều nhờ có AIBA mà tôi nghĩ rằng về những ước mơ sau này đều ước mơ sau này của tôi đều liên quan đến thể thao nên tôi nghĩ những lần đi tập huấn và thi đấu như này thì có thể giúp tôi đạt được ước mơ của mình. New Zealander Alexis Pritchard is another young woman boxer who's benefited greatly from the Road to Dream program. I've been on three Road Tours now. I just love the social aspect of it. It's fabulous to get together and meet all these people. People that you would never otherwise meet and get to know. But I think boxing is a unique sport in that you're fighting each other in the ring and then afterwards you give each other a big hug and you're a big family still. Her Olympic experience proved to be equally memorable. Fighting at 60 kilograms, she won her first bout and reached the last eight, one win short of a bronze medal. Her Olympic journey enhancing her love of the noble art of boxing. I love how it makes me feel. It, it empowers me as a woman. It's given me confidence and self-belief. And um, the discipline and determination that's needed 
to succeed in the sport has helped me in other aspects of my life. I've gone through studies, I'm a physiotherapist, and um, I did really well at university. And I think it's that focus that I got from boxing that um, permeated into the other aspects of my life. New Zealand qualifies for the Road to Dream program because in boxing terms, it's classified as a developing country. Right. In New Zealand, financially, we don't have the backing that other sports do, the rugby's, the crickets, the netballs. I still have to work to pay my bills and train. Coming to this camp and not having to worry about the financial aspects, just knowing that for the next three weeks, all I have to do is focus on my game and boxing and not worry about anything else, that has been really helpful. The best thing was getting away from my own personal coach, um, growing a little bit independently, and discovering the boxer that I really am and the boxer that I can be. Alexis Pritchard is one of many to have gained so much from the Road to Dream experience. Since the first Road to Milan in 2009, hundreds of men and women boxers and their coaches from developing countries around the world have benefited from these innovative programs. And within the four-year Olympic cycle, the eight training camps have produced notable successes. These champions came to Cardiff for the second Road to London training camp to finalize their Olympic preparations. For Lithuanian 69 kilogram boxer Egidiuth Kavilioshkas, this was his third Road to training camp. Following extensive preparations at Road to Baku, he created shockwaves throughout the tournament by knocking out European champion Fred Evans of Great Britain on his way to winning a bronze medal at AIBA's World Boxing Championships in Baku in 2011. Pro to pro program AIBA, man, labai padėjo visai sąžvilgiais. Nuo no pat pirmos stovyklos aš kopiau laiptis į viršų, link to bulėjimo, link geresnio bokso. And the training was used to do more boxing, skirtingų stilių ir tas man labai padėjo tapti ten, kur dabar esu. Esu. An unfavorable draw at the Games put paid to his Olympic dream. Eventual silver medalist Britain's Fred Evans gaining sweet revenge for their Baku bout. However, his Lithuanian compatriot, Evaldas Petroskas, runner-up at AIBA's Youth World Boxing Championships in 2010, did achieve his Olympic dream, securing an historic bronze medal at 60 kilograms. Another Olympic medalist and road to dream success story was Mavzuna Shodieva of Tajikistan. She won a bronze following her semi-final defeat by Irish superstar Katie Taylor. Shorieva's Tajikistan teammate is yet another road to dream success story. Asian 56 kilogram champion Anvar Yunusov won bronze at Baku in 2011 and achieved a world number one ranking in 2012. For boxers such as Yunusov, the Road to Dream program has undoubtedly made a difference. Underprivileged boxers from all four corners of the globe have started to realize their dreams, thanks to AIBA initiatives. And now, Yunusov and the brightest Road to Dream and Olympic stars are sent to be part of an even bigger AIBA innovation. The dawn of an exciting new era is upon us. AIBA Professional Boxing. AIBA's mission is very clearly stated. AIBA governs the sports of boxing in all of its forms, that's including the amateur to the professional. But however, to start with this very important mission, we must get involved and create a revolutionary new format project of the professional, APB we call it. Designed to create harmony between amateur and professional boxing, AIBA Professional Boxing, APB, will launch in the fall of 2013 and offer a career pathway for the boxers, guiding them from the grassroots to the pinnacle of Olympic glory and beyond to a professional career, all within the AIBA family. We have the responsibility to look after the boxers' entire career. 
So this is why we create APP. The APP have the full support from the International Olympic Committee. The boxer in the APP, they are eligible, can return to the Olympic Games. After that, they can return to the APP again. We can offer much more to the boxers, which the current professional cannot do that. The boxers are well protected. We look after their medical side, the future career development. So many, many added together. So we are a different product uh, compared with the current professional boxing. APB will work alongside another established Aiba innovation, World Series Boxing. WSB was launched in 2010 and is a unique concept in the world of boxing. A global pro-style team competition which brings together the best Olympic and pro boxers representing their countries in an explosive format. Already signed up to APB is Italian superstar and double Olympic silver medalist Clemente Russo. L'APB è un grande progetto, è un grande progetto, è un bellissimo progetto. Una novità che nessun'altra sigla professionistica potrebbe associarsi. Tanti bravi dilettanti si sentono poi bloccati nel professionismo perché non possono tornare più indietro. Another who's thrived in WSB and is now looking forward to APB is world champion and Olympic bronze medalist Magomed Rasul Medjidov. Мне очень нравятся условия профессионального бокса АИБА. Это очень хорошо, что боксер и в любителях, и в профессионалах может представлять свою страну. Continuare la carriera sotto l'AIBA sarebbe molto bello. Non vedo l'ora che parte il progetto APB. AIBA's joined up enterprises, APB, WSB and Road to Dream are ensuring that the future of boxing is in the best possible hands. I have been a boxer almost of my life and I know how hard it is. If AIBA can guide the boxers from the grassroots to a good Olympic career up to the time he becomes a professional, I will salute them. I think the work continues. We found the National Federation, they are very happy because the boxer has been benefited. And also we want to further work not only the National Federation, but with the National Olympic Committee and the International Olympic Committee. We'll continue to develop this Road to Dream program. Next target certainly is 2016 Rio Olympic Games.